um, in San Jose, Costa Rica. We're going to learn the propeller today and have your feet behind you and your knees stacked up and your knees in front of you. Uh, if you want, if it's okay on your shoulder, you could be like this with your arms uh, stretched overhead. Or you could have one hand on your head like that. And if you need to, you could have a pillow under your head. But ideally, I think it works a little better if you can have your arm as your pillow up stretched and straight. As the head rolls forward on the arm, the elbow and shoulder come forward. And then as shoulder rolls back, the head rolls back and the elbow goes back. And we just have that movement. And the knees are, and legs, lower legs are being stable for us and we're able to have this really nice twist. Now, notice that the elbow and the shoulder and your hip, they stay in a straight line. The propeller doesn't bend. Okay, so we have this nice movement here. Well, I just notice, well, where's the, where's the resistance? Where does the resistance start? Don't go into any discomfort in your back. You're just going forward and back, okay? So now let's have that arm overhead if that's comfortable. And again, my arm is in a straight line and it's hitting the door. Okay, my arm is in a straight line with my torso and everything just stays beautifully straight. The propeller doesn't bend. We're doing the full propeller lesson right now. Okay, so now if you have a pillow, you could cross your arms in front like that. I don't, so I'm just going to use my arm as the pillow and I have my hand right here. So I'm, I'm taking my upper leg and it extends straight down, down the mat. And my big toe could rest on the floor. We're not trying to tire out these muscles. Uh, we're interested in how does the torso deliver the leg? So as front pocket comes forward, the leg comes forward, staying in a straight line with the torso. And as your back pocket goes back, the leg extends and it's in a straight line with the torso. And we can have just this nice movement here. And it's a torso movement. And I can shine my knee up to the sky a little bit as the leg goes back. And I can shine my knee down toward the floor as my leg goes forward and my hip goes forward. I can keep my knee facing forward the whole time. As leg goes back, the knee faces forward. As hip goes forward and delivers leg forward, knee faces forward. Okay, and just rest for a moment. So let's put it all together into the full propeller. We have arm upstretched or hand on head with elbow up. We have the leg straight down the mat. So can you make it equal effort as back pocket pushes back? Can you have equal effort of shoulder pushing forward? Now there we go. That's, that's torso and we want to have are walking sort of be like this, that as shoulder goes back, hip goes forward and delivers leg forward. And as shoulder goes forward, hip goes back and delivers leg back behind. And that's the propeller. And can you keep it in a nice straight line? Now, right now we're, we're doing my version of the propeller. Some people, they, they don't move their pelvis very much and they might feel like they're rolling way, way back and thinking they have a huge amount of motion to roll way, way back with that shoulder, but I propose, I encourage you to have hip forward with equal effort of shoulder going back and hip back of equal effort shoulder going forward. Okay, let it rest if it needs to rest. So let's just do the simple propeller now. Maybe arm is by your side like this and we can have shoulder goes forward and it pushes elbow forward and shoulder goes back and it pushes elbow back. Let's put that together with the lower half. As shoulder goes forward and elbow goes forward, can hip go back and knee go back? Slow. Look at it carefully. How does the torso deliver elbow back behind you as knee goes forward? That. Now, this is running. This is running. Okay. Knee back, elbow forward. The torso twists. Torso twist, go slowly. Can your brain understand what it means for the torso to twist? Can it sense that hip is forward, shoulders back? And there we go. Can you just yawn that out? What part isn't moving? Can you close the places that are stiff? Find the contraction in it? Backing off the effort, going smoothly through the middle of the motion. 
twisting and yawning out the rotation of the torso. Okay, lie down on your back. See what you've got. Look inside. Direct the searchlight of your awareness inward. And how, how is one side compared to the other? Okay, if you want, right now you could pause the video. You could go walk around the room a little bit and notice, well, how is the walking different? Is, is your brain understanding how to twist one side of the body better than the other? And just be there. Let it settle down. See what you've got. Let's do side two. The full propeller and the simple propeller. Okay. Uh, head rolls back, his shoulder rolls back, and, and elbow rolls back, and head rolls forward as shoulder and elbow come forward. And the knees are, the knees are out in front and the feet are behind, They're sort of stable and stacked. And really respect the limit. You know, wh what is the limit? What keeps the shoulder from going forward more? And what keeps that shoulder from going back more? Where, where does the system not know how to twist? Okay, let's just rest right there. If you have a pillow, you can cross your arms in front. And we're just going to think about the lower half. It's hip goes forward and hip goes back. Yeah, you, you can do that. And shoulder isn't doing the movement. It's the torso is delivering the hip back and the leg is staying in a beautiful straight line with the torso. A propeller doesn't bend. Okay. So let's put that whole thing together. As hip goes back, shoulder goes forward with equal effort. I even encourage you to let the hip be the main force. Can the hip be pushing forward and the elbow and shoulder go back? Well, that's it. And it can be a little lazier. We don't even, you could, you could uh, reach out with the hand if you want. You could bend the knee if you want. Find some hamstrings maybe. And we're just going to straighten the leg out in front. Just however it works. Can you twist the body to liver, deliver hand back and foot forward? And what can you do with the propeller? It's sort of a fun movement. Okay, just easy. Let's do a small, gentle version of it. Of Hip goes forward, shoulder goes back. Yep. Shoulder goes forward, hip goes back. The simple propeller. Elbow pushing forward and knee pushing back. Elbow pushing back, knee pushing forward, torso delivers them both. That's it. Beautiful. Go slowly. Can your brain understand what does it take to push elbow forward and and knee back. And go gently, gently. That's it. Okay, just yawn that out. You can go fast if you want to run. That's good. That's the running movement. Shoulder back delivers hip forward that delivers leg forward. Shoulder goes forward that delivers leg back. That's walking if you're out for a walk. Is it shoulder, hip? Shoulder, hip. You want to have that movement really good. Really good. R walking is rotation. It's not about foot, foot, foot. That's what I, when I was a little baby and my parents lived in Denmark, that's what a choo-choo train says. It says foot, 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 if you live in Denmark. Well, we're walking with twisting the torso. The torso twists to do the walking and delivers the leg. If your torso isn't twisting well, your walking isn't going to be working well. And there we go. Lie down on your back. Let it rest. Now you're ready for a walk. I'm here in Costa Rica today, and my wife and I are going to go out for a walk. And the propeller is just a beautiful movement to get your body really warmed up and moving. Thank you very much for practicing with me. I'm Eric Cooper, InspireSomatics.com. Blessings on your journey. <laughs>